Hello, this is Leslie. This video will walk you through the Event Leads module in Reserve Cloud. First, let's differentiate real quickly between Event Leads and Events. In the Event module, I'm entering and editing events that will or do exist on my calendar. In the Event Leads module, I'm entering and editing leads that will not or do not yet exist on my events calendar. Maybe they're just not quite ready to be in the events module. In the Events Leads module, I can still track information on the lead, correspond, create follow-up tasks, add services, etc., while still not yet adding them to my calendar. If a lead is one, it can then be converted to an event, retaining all of the information already entered. Let's take a look. When you enter into the Event Leads module, you will land here on the list view. This provides a visual of your current event leads. These leads could have been entered or come over from your website via our guest portal if you're using that feature. This list view can be sorted by column heading simply by clicking on the column heading and it does resort itself. You can also create new views with all new column headings and filters by creating a new folder and a new view for yourself. Please see our Reserve University List Views document for step-by-step -step instructions on creating a new list view. To create a new lead, we're going to click on the New button under the Event Leads header. We'll then fill out the information about our lead. Only fields in red, or with the red vertical bar to the left anyway, are required. I'm putting in my primary contact. I'll do a quick search. Contact record either exists or they're a new contact. I'll click New Contact, fill out any information I have there, and save. Continuing on, I'll say this is going to be Sandy's party. Lead type, I'll just say it was a cold call that I made today. Lead status is developing. Again, what fields I fill out and what information I put into those fields is completely up to me and my organization. Over here, I'm just going to go ahead and choose my name for the salesperson. The salesperson could vary. Uh, you know, possibly I'm taking the lead, but it belongs to John Doe. You know, the salesperson can vary or it can default, uh, depending again how your organization has things set up. In the rest of the lead area, your fields may differ from mine, given that this screen is customizable, but I could put in a suggested event date, a start time, an end time, a location. Again, all of this would flow over then when I convert this to an event. I'll just fill out the minimal information here that I need. I'll go ahead and save it. The event lead page is much like the event details page, except it's in blue. So as I scroll down this page, I have different headers or sections where I could add information. I can do things here again very similarly to what I would do in the events area. I can add a menu here or services just by clicking add menu. I'm thinking of proposing an a la carte menu for this particular guest, choose my items, etc. Edit my menu, do whatever I need to there, and then just jump back to the lead. But it's nice to be able to put in the suggested services if maybe I'm going to do a proposal or something. I can add notes here. I can add a follow-up task for myself. Maybe I want to remind myself to call this person back. I'm going to call them back on Monday, and I'll just call it lead follow-up. And then I'll save that. That will go to my home page on the appropriate day, and it also exists here in the lead. In communication history, I could also log activity like my phone call or my conversation with this person. I can also send an email. By clicking send email, I'll choose some kind of a template, edit the template if I need to, and certainly attach or generate any documents that I have out there and send that email off to my guest. All that information will be tracked here in the lead. Now as I'm moving forward with the lead, I may want to edit it as far as the status goes. So I'm developing it now, but at some point I may want to change it either to closed lost, if I lose it, or possibly closed won. I'm going to go ahead and pretend that we've won this lead. I'm going to change that to closed won and save it. I might again enter some information here. I can save it 
and then I can enter that information in just a moment when I use the handy Convert to Event button. This button is going to take the information that I've been collecting in my lead and convert it over to the red area or the Events module. So I'll go ahead and convert this lead by clicking Convert to Event. There's a couple of questions here that it asks me. Do I want to add this to some kind of an existing event that's out there? No, not typically, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. Do I want to bring over everything from the lead as far as contacts, notes, and services? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Uncheck or check as you desire. I'll click Continue once I'm done. My events screen will open up and I'll just enter in a few pieces of detail, again, following along with my red vertical bars, but filling out anything I need here for my particular company. And I'll just pretend this is gonna happen a little bit later. And we'll go with 8 a.m. No, that's just not a very long event. Let's go back and do a p.m. That should be a little bit better. And then the location, we'll have that in the party room. Go ahead and save that. And now this particular event will be on my calendar. And I'm progressing through the event life cycle just like I would normally now. At the very bottom of your screen, there's a converted from lead section. And what's neat is I can actually access the lead right from here as well if I need to reference back to it. But at least it lets me know where this particular event came from. As I go back to my home page, one last thing to note, as I'm doing leads during the day, on my home page is a list of all of the leads that I created today. So it's just a neat follow-up for yourself as well. That's all I have today on the Event Leads module. Thanks for watching.